Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Welcome to the Ideas by Elliot podcast, sponsored by Camera Corner Studios, Yike Salon, Trisha Nell Law, and Release Wire with your host, technology, online marketing, and entrepreneurship guru, Elliot Christensen. This is his chance to talk in depth with, well, me, about, uh, what are we talking about today? Parental control. Parental control. Like uh, parental security for, uh, you know, when your kid has an iPad and they're doing stuff and you, you're like, uh, I don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> so kick back, enjoy the show, drop us a rating and review over on iTunes and Stitcher. It helps others find us. And that's the script. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. So uh, <laughs> so last night I got called by, well, I got emailed by uh, Sarah Thompson at WBAY. And she wanted to do something on messaging services primarily for uh, their... Uh, it, it, there was some kind of incident in, I think, in Virginia uh, what, what using the service Kick, K-I-K? Kick, yes. I th- okay. So uh, uh, I looked into that a little bit, and, uh, you know, we talked before the show. I don't think anybody uses Kick. So mm-hmm. I, I that was a little bit strange to hear that that's a, a, a major uh, issue with, with kids. To me, I, I know kids use uh, Facebook Messenger, and they use Snapchat. And, yeah. they, you know, there's... There's, there, there, there are lots of those services, but, uh, you know, in the U S you got to use what your friends are using, right? They're using texts and Facebook and Snapchat and like, that's, that's plenty. Do you need more than that? I don't think so. So, uh, so I did a little bit of looking as to like what parents can do about that. And, you know, maybe some kids are using kick to, you know, get out of their parents view. You know, I, I guess that's a possibility, but I haven't heard too much about that. Um, so on the, uh, on the iPad, and I think that's where this usually comes into play. I don't know. I don't uh, it's know on the think. Android store too. I was just looking. It has an install base and this is total downloads just shy of 2 million. Kick does? 1.9 uh, million downloads. Oh, at this see, point. so that's super interesting because they claim 250 million users. 250 I, and that's the thing. million. I can't, <laughs> I can't tell how much is active and that's only Android. Yeah. So. Well, only half of the market. So that's, right. so, so I think that their stuff is inflated and like I installed it, you installed it. We, I, right. I couldn't find anybody to use it with. So, no. So then it goes away. If I would have known we were both doing research, I, <laughs> I wasn't doing could research. Have found really. you. So the research that I did do though, is on the iTunes store, uh, parents can see that there's ratings available. So that's one thing. Uh, if, if parents are really concerned about this stuff, I think they should not let their kids install their own apps. I don't think people should do that anyway. I don't think, I don't think regular people should install their own apps for the most part. Yeah. I mean, iOS and Android both have parental controls where you can just disallow the app store if, if your kid is not ready for that kind of thing. And, and, uh, I am not super familiar with the parental controls on Android. Uh, but on the iPad, which I, with younger kids, I think they, there's a lot of iPads in use. And yeah. so I'm, I'm thinking that this is a problem you want to worry about for younger kids. So on the app store, kick in particular, Snapchat also, they have a rating of 12 plus, which means, you know, there's some check boxes where you can say only allow things that are rated 12 plus, And that's the age. Yeah. So they have like four, seven, 12 and 17, I think. So you can say, don't let me, don't let, don't let this device download anything that's, that has lower than that rating. And Snapchat and kick both are, 12 plus. So if you just uncheck that and don't let your, your son or daughter download anything that's 12 plus or below, uh, you're totally good with those. Right. Um, so I don't know specifically what people's fears are about that stuff. It's, I think it's an unknown thing. Um, to me, like this stuff is no different than the telephone was when we were growing up. Like my parents didn't know what I was talking about on the phone, although they could have picked it up in the other room at the time. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and I get kind of tired of people blaming technology or apps or devices or whatever for endangering people or endangering things. 
Uh, and, you know, I'm not necessarily a gun lobbyist, but the gun people have the same argument that I'm going to use for the devices. It's a tool that can be used for good or for bad. There are more good people than there are bad people. Yada, yada, yada. It's the right. same argument. It, it totally is. It totally right. is. And there are bad people out there. I'm not going to say that, that that there's no possibility that somebody's not going to contact your I have a, I have an almost 12 year old son. He's going to be 12 in two weeks, right? He's planning his birthday party. It's very, oh, yeah? very exciting last night. <laughs> there were tears. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, you know, he, he has a very particular plan for his birthday. But anyway, so he's 12 years old. If someone randomly, and Max is pretty public. So he is out there. There is a possibility somebody could contact him. Yeah. So, but, and I don't think he's super mature. Like I said, there were tears last night, right? And, but I, I do feel like he's equipped enough to like not accept an invitation to go meet someone. Right. It's very strange to me. Um, and you know, maybe, I don't know, somebody pretends he's a girl, I guess, or something. I don't know. And he's all interested. Maybe. maybe Entrapment, but, I yeah, guess. Yeah, but, uh, I, I just, uh, I have a hard time believing that that's an epidemic and you know, maybe we've solved all the world's problems and this is what we have left to worry about. Right. That's pretty awesome. But like you did mention guns, <laughs> I would focus on guns. Yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm not anti guns necessarily either, but like, boy, that's a, to me, that's an even bigger problem than this stuff. But, um, I understand why people get a little bit afraid there. I understand why people are afraid of guns. I don't like guns. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the, uh, there are parental controls for these specific messaging services, but I think in general, uh, people have this fear of what their kids are doing online. And so uh, there are consumer grade routers, the more expensive ones, like the right. Wi-Fi routers that you plug into cable and DSL. And the higher end ones, like the, uh, I think it's called the Nightwing, um, they have built-in parental controls. Mm -hmm. And you can go and you can, you can fine tune it to your heart's content. Or you can have, you know, somebody who your techie friend configure it for you so that it blocks all the stuff you don't right. want. Well, every router can do some degree of blocking. Yeah. Right. Whether it's, you know, specifying IP addresses, specifying DNS restrictions. A lot of people don't realize that um, most websites, especially like in the adult industry, they self rate and in the web page code, they have a rating. And I don't know about all the browsers, but at least you're going to laugh. Internet Explorer. Yeah. Has a built-in parental control. Don't allow websites with these content keywords. You know that's right. doable right in Internet Explorer. So okay, so the, this is the, the, it's sort of a paradox in my mind. Okay, because I think um, if you put it in the browser, your your kid can turn that off right? if, if they if they have your admin password. So right, but. Um, I mean, th there are ways around that, that, yeah, you know, okay. so, and I'm not, I, I guess so I don't have kids, so no, I don't get so, the whole, they're smarter than me thing yet. So, well, I mean, okay, well, the bar is set pretty high in your regard, but I'm not, you know, <laughs> like Max is already smarter than me, but I, I you know, I, the, I, I, I don't know what age kids are where they're not smart enough to have researched this stuff and figure out how to bypass your restrictions, but they're smart enough to accept an invitation from someone that they don't know and then like leave the house and go right. meet this person without you knowing. I, I, I just thought that's a lot of things that have to fall into place to really be afraid. So, I mean, first and foremost, like the biggest thing is, and I, I, uh, I'm not the world's perfect parent. Right. So it sounds preachy, but like I talk to Max and we have conversations about this stuff. Right. And they actually talk about it at school. Oh, really? Yeah. Which, uh, you know, because we talk about it, I, I am aware of this. And uh, he, he he tells me the things they say. And, and most of it I agree with. Mm -hmm. You know, there's things mm -hmm. that, you know, because I'm not a fraidy cat, like they probably preach in school a little bit. But, you know, if they're going to preach one way or the other, I think I guess a little more caution is probably okay. So I'm, I'm not I'm not even anti that and it could be just the way he presented it to me too right right because he knows how i feel but um i think i think kids know i, well, I, I would I, hope so I, so I, I i mean if your kid doesn't have a general understanding of self-protection i mean the you know yeah it, you can get tricked you can get fooled into certain things but um 
there's going to come a point where getting into the van with a person you've never met, regardless of what they've said. Yeah. You're probably going to see a red flag. See, I'm way more afraid of uh, like if you give your kid your password or a, a, an allowance to like buy apps, I'm way more afraid of them like buying a hundred thousand coins and yeah game. <laughs> because it's so easy to do yeah like nothing has to fall into place they just need a password for that <laughs> right so and then that's so um again if we look at like the the apple world there's there's ways to play against that right you can have sub accounts so mom and dad have a credit card on file and they can yeah. give the kid like a weekly allowance of how much they're allowed to spend on apps and right. they actually built a really cool and elegant system around that uh, and I'm sure I'm sure Google has something. Well, in, I mean, there's in there's, that direction. There's always ways around. Like you can get prepaid credit cards and stuff. You could use. Well, yeah, but, but yeah. then they still got to spend money. True. Right. Yeah, yeah. They got to they got to come up with the cash somewhere, or they got to have access to the card numbers. Right. You know, when I was yeah. a kid, I didn't know what the <laughs> magnet thing and the numbers and at the know. coffee place, I had to use the chip. Oh, you did. I know. <laughs> and then it asked me for my pin, and I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so I had, a, I had a momentary panic and I'm like, I don't know how to use this stuff. I usually use my phone. And he's like, our thing totally uses the phone. You could have just used the phone. <laughs> yeah. I, I no longer know how to run credit cards at the store because we just installed chip and pin on all the machines and I did not go to any of the training sessions. So. Well, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm horrible at staying on topic, I guess. Right. But so the, uh, the guy at the coffee shop, he, he knew more than I did. So yeah. I'm not, I'm not cutting him down at all but like he's like well i think you gotta push it in further but oh yeah that's because i was like i didn't know what was going on you know because mm -hmm. i was stupid but like nobody really gets that stuff and oh and by the way totally not secure no because you know that the <laughs> you know the the pin is stored on the chip on the card right so <laughs> you can totally just put a different chip in the card and you're totally good to go <laughs> yeah it's security through obscurity so i'd be more afraid of that stuff right because now everybody thinks they're safe Totally not safe, guys. Totally not safe. I mean, when it comes to the internet safety, the web safety, you know, there's there's the controls within the apps. There's the controls within the app stores. There's the router configuration. So I would I would go the there's, router. I would go the router route uh, for me because it it also uh, takes care of some other problems. So in my house, right. I have Kyle. He's 27, and I have Gina, who's trying to get work done, and I have me, where I want to you know watch Netflix when I want to watch it. No work. Just Netflix <laughs> or get work done. Right. Well, you go to the so, office for that. So the office. <laughs> right, right. Right. Is that title? Tom? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but you can put in bandwidth restrictions also in, oh, yeah. in the high end router. So like, so not only are you protecting your kids with some blacklists against bad sites and, and limiting, you know, their access to, to certain messaging services, but you can say, don't let them use. BitTorrent or yeah. don't let them visit, you know, bad sites. Um, but the bandwidth limitation is huge to me because if I'm on a conference call on Skype, right. Uh, you know, if, load balancing QoS if Max has YouTube in the Absolutely. other, in the other room, like he can wait three seconds for his YouTube to load. I can't wait three seconds to have a conversation. Right. Right. That has to be real time. So, so if you're trying to, and more and more people are working at home. So I think that, that, the router end is actually, a you know, solves a lot of these things, yeah. uh, especially for younger kids. But honestly, I feel like once you get your kids a smartphone and oh, they will start demanding it once they turn 10, mm -hmm. if not sooner. Um, demanding like all the other kids have have smartphones, but me <laughs> and I'm like and I, I consider myself to be pretty with it. And I'm like, yeah, I think that's probably not true. But um you know, by the time they're 12, I think they pretty much all do. It's getting to that point. I mean, even for me, so I, I'm relatively young, class of 03. I got a cell phone when I was probably halfway through my freshman year of high school. Yeah. And the big reason was after school activities. When do you come pick me up? Where am I? Yeah. You know, and it wasn't uncommon for me to get like just a check-in call just, Hey, you said you're going to Ross's place. Are you still there? Right. So the after school thing is not so. Yeah. Um, Kids have busier schedules than me and I'm uh, a busy guy. All right. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't imagine what it would be like for me to, you know, 
work my normal job and then I got my side business right. and then my normal job has after hours events that I have to be at and, you know, making podcasts and things and, right. and then I got the family life and now let's throw in football practice and so the band. That, right. And so it makes sense. You want your kid to have a phone. I want Max to have a phone. I mean, we talk about this daily. Like I wanted to get him one when the, the success came out, you know, we were going to upgrade everybody, yeah. but I'm like, ah, oh, you know, like that's another 50 bucks a month. Yeah. Like that is not trivial. Um, but how many trips, how many like missed trips or, oh, we forgot to pick Max up. He's sitting at school for an extra right. half hour. <laughs> so we will, we look like negligent parents because we miscommunicated. Um, you know, those kinds of situations could be solved, right? Yeah. Are we at the end? No, we got like five minutes. Oh, okay. I, you know what? I should mention also on phone safety, um, there is a bit of a recurring cost on this, and I'm not sure about all providers. I'm just hyper educated in Verizon for some reason. Yeah. But um, I know they have a product called Verizon Family Base. Yeah. Where you pay, uh, it, it's a couple bucks per phone per month added to your bill, but it gives you all kinds of things like you're only allowed one gig of data this month. Wow. You're only able to use data from 7 to 9 p.m. Uh, you're only allowed this many phone calls per month. Right. Oh, and by the way, at any time I can log into a, uh, a a website and see your last known location based on GPS and Wi-Fi coordinates. So, like, that stuff's all good. I think that right. those, and, and the other, most of the other providers have that. I'm sure there's too. something like that. Um, I just, I'm familiar with the Verizon. And, the, you know, and the iPhones all have Find My iPhone, so... Right you know, across whatever you got, you got them on. And uh, Android has, uh, they, I forgot what their thing was. Uh, there's a lost my phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the, the thing is, um, none of those things really protect people against the things I, that I hear that people are afraid of though. Well, what is this fear? Well, I mean, so, so I remember when my niece was, she's like, I don't know. I think she's seven in my head all the time, but she's like 20 something. Right. <laughs> and, but like 10 years ago, she was on, she was interviewed by a TV station about AOL instant messenger. And this was 10 years ago. So the, like the same topics keep coming up, but I think, I think that people don't understand that it's, uh, it's relatively non-trivial to have people become your chat buddy without you knowing who they are. Right. Like it's, kind of hard and I mean have a conversation with your kids and say you know don't let people you don't know on there but then you know every once in a while especially if you're paying the bill you know maybe go through their friend list with them because like why not how, right. about, how about like hey you know who, who's this oh is that that's the guy you play whatever you play football with right you know I think that those are valid things and kids want to talk about their friends. So right. I, I like, honestly, I think that then you come across somebody and they're like, Oh, I don't really know who that is. Well, how about we have a conversation about that? I don't want you to have people that you don't know. I don't want you to have people that I don't know. So if I haven't met this guy, let's take him off until I meet him. Right. And um, I, I think it's totally reasonable, you know? So I, it, all of these things, all these, these things always boil down to me to, to like good parenting and, you know, and we're all busy and I'm a horrible parent, you know, I, I totally get that. <laughs> but, but I, I, on the, on the same token, maybe I sound like I just let my kids do anything they want, but which is, which is really not the case. And, you know, we, mm -hmm. we try to get Max to focus on one activity at a time. So right now he's doing the musical and, um, he hated baseball. So, you know, he got out of that so he could do something else. Um, so we're not overwhelmed. And so we don't have all this chaos going on. We know where he is. We know yeah. what's going on. I, I, I don't know. I don't know exactly who these people are that have problems. And I think like to going back to what you started with, I think that there was, there's this, this knee jerk reaction to blame the technology right? because you feel, maybe you feel a little embarrassed that you, you didn't, you know, that, that something slipped through the cracks. You can't blame the hammer because you hit your thumb. Yeah. And I, that sounds so mean because I feel bad when people get hit with a hammer or get right. hurt with a firearm or something happens to their child that, due to some communication, but it could have happened over the phone. It could have happened walking to the mall, mm -hmm. walking to school, could have happened at school. I mean, you, you hit a point where you can't, you can't bubble wrap your kids and, uh, 
So I don't know. I don't think there's too much more to say, but uh, I, I guess I would encourage people to get a, a router with parental controls. Yeah. And uh, hey, I th- it sounds like our guest is here, so we can wrap up. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I think there's going to be a thing on WBAY. Yes. So, uh, well, what are you saying? Yes. You're just, that's, that's just me telling you. That, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's why you asked me if we could have WBAY come to the studio today. That's so, uh, okay. True. True. <laughs> Right. So that's it. I think uh, I think we can wrap it. Okay. Don't forget to run over to iTunes and Stitcher and give a rating and review of the show. It helps other people find us. Cheers.